like I mentioned before, in this particular example, we have friction zero, no disturbance torques, but we use the two-layer neural network controller. And this is not really terribly important, but I'll just mention that, of course, we have good plots, the command velocity, the actual velocity, they're converging to the same value with the linear and the angular velocities. Um, control torques are all bounded in very small values. The errors all go to zero. The theta error actually is, is not zero in this case. It's pi over two. Remember, it's 90 degrees because we set the reference robot to be at 90. Our actual robot was at about 180, and it kind of oscillated, as we'll see in the next slide, as it attempts to follow the reference robot's path. The neural network weights are all bounded. And here's the most interesting plot, I think. You have the reference robot that's at 90 degrees, zero, zero. Actual robot is at a little under 180 degrees, location zero, zero. And the actual robot oscillates as it starts to converge to the reference robot's path. Here's some uh, references. So I just want to briefly thank Dr. Travis Dierks because he has taught me a ton about these wheel mobile robots through his course. So that is the project, the simulation of a complete differential drive robot. I appreciate your time and I am open to any questions that you guys may have.